be careful with knives, kids. Be very careful with Safety knives. First. So what have you got here? What sort of knife have you got? Okay, so we've got a number two blade. I buy these packs. Um, this one's a mess. But um, you buy packs of handles and bases and interchangeable. So this is the standard one that you normally That's get in a shop. A knife. And you can actually just take out the blade by removing this end and then switch it over. Okay. I've got um, different, normally if it's a really intricate one, I use a finer yeah. handle and a finer knife. Yeah. For this one, it's pretty simple, so we're just going to get straight away with one of these. Okay, so you've got a glass board underneath to protect. I have my board. So if you don't have a glass board, you could use like a piece of wooden chopping block or something no, else, a cutting mat. Whoopsie. The other thing to mention, it is a bit windy, so we are just working with paper here today. But ideally, if you can print on the card, that is recommended. So right now, you are putting down some, what have we got there? I've got these are actually curtain weights. Okay, um, right. I use them. I use them when I'm spraying. Yeah. Uh, to turn all the bits down, so you get they get lift up at the edge to get that over spray. Yeah. And it keeps a crisp edge. Yeah. And now I'm just using them to really away. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay. And then we start to cut. When you're doing a stencil, start with the smallest pieces first. Yeah. When you're cutting. And then you're less likely to get tears or yeah, okay. angry cuts. Sure. So just noticing you're keeping it about 30 centimetres away from what you're spraying as well. What happens if you take it too close? If you get too close, you get runs. Yeah. You just want the light. A dusting, yeah. essentially, and you can fill it up in layers if it's still not dark enough for you. You can always just add more. Mm -hmm. And then again, we just take it all away. This one. So, what I've done here is I've got the outside image, but I've got a little bit more detail. So, it's not quite the finished. Mm -hmm. Details, but should hopefully. How long does it take to for the first layer to sort of dry? Um, you're talking minutes generally. Okay. In, in a nice warm day like yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, in England in the winter, it can take a lot longer. Yeah. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah. You're lucky. Right. So I just lay this directly above. Straight over the top. A little bit more detail there. Great. So he's not gone mad with the amount of spray that he's used. Just, just a touch little bit. It's enough. It's best to do too little. Then too much. Of layers. Yeah. Then put loads on and have blobs and smears. Yeah. And smears. Yeah. It's all about control. We can do a little bit. Nice, look at that. So that's two layers. Yeah. If you are doing it on a flat surface, if you hold your cam above horizontally for too long, yeah. it will run out of gas. Oh right. Lift it up every now and then, give it a little spray. Okay. And you should be good to go again. 